Today, we're going to continue on the theme of last week we did the uh, Ibanez guitar. This week, we have a medium-priced guitar. Today, we have what looks like a 50s Telecaster, but it's actually a 2018 Fender Roadworn 50s Telecaster. And it's had a few modifications that we'll go over uh, in that. But first of all, we'll talk about the Roadworn series. So the Roadworn series is a series that came out sometime in the mid 2000s and uh, it's a basically it started out as a Mexican version of the relic custom shop guitars and they kind of have two versions of this guitar you have this one which is the newer version and the older one so the ones that first came out that were in this color the butterscotch from the 50s kind of butterscotch color um, the first series that came out had a white pickguard, and the aging was really, really aged on it. Uh, the neck shape was different and everything like that. And it had a white pickguard, a whole bunch of like weird fingerboard wear. It didn't look very authentic. They were great guitars, and they played well, but they did not look the part very well. And then sometime later on, they changed to the second edition, and they started adding black pickguards here to the Butterscotch, and they changed a few things. The relicking is very minimal. As you can see on the guitar, there's a little bit of wear up here in the corner, a square on the back, and the back of the neck, but not as much fret wear, not fret wear, fingerboard wear, as you would see on this, on the newer ones. Plus, they changed the neck shape. The neck shape has kind of gone to a bigger U shape now than the first ones were kind of just a regular C shape. And uh, this one is more like the, uh, the No Caster Custom Shop necks. That you would get so this series i think is way more authentic than the first series was as far as playability and looks the neck is is much thicker and it still has the seven and a quarter inch radius that the vintage would have with but it has bigger frets which is great so anyway we'll talk about um this guitar that's pretty much that this guitar i've got it changed the pickup in the rear it usually would come with a telecaster pickup this one has been changed to a dimarzio Chopper T. Now, those of you that have know about that pickup, it's a dual bladed pickup, kind of humbucker esque, but it still has that single coil sound. You can also find these in the Richie Kotzen Telecaster, and uh, I just love these pickups in the back of the Telecaster. <laughs> It's a blade pickup and it's humbucker-esque, but it's very much still sounds like a tele pickup. And usually DiMaggio is known, everybody thinks they're like heavy metal tapper pickups, you know what I mean? But they're like, if you roll it down, it's great. It's really got a nice snap to it and it just adds beautiful. The Telecaster neck pickup here, this is the standard pickup. sounds still sound great I was using the in-between sound uh, when the video started so um, let's hear it with some overdrive shall we let's hear the rear pickup the DiMaggio chopper T with the rear pickup some overdrive <laughs> one by full tone all the knobs pretty much set uh, at noon except for the drive is down at about nine o'clock and you can see it still gives you a nice overdrive but the cool thing about the pickup is if you roll the volume down to the tone just a bit Thank you. 
sounding pickup. So once again, here we have, this is a 2018 uh, Fender Roadworn Edition. You can find these used on the internet. Um, I don't believe they make this color anymore. They might make them in limited edition. They have a purple one out now and stuff like that. But um, you can usually find these for between $650 and $800, depending on where you look and when you watch this video. But uh, I highly recommend if you are in the market for a Fender Custom Shop no caster or anything like that that you check out the newer series of the Road Warners here. And I think with just a few modifications, they can be a really great guitar that will uh, take you anywhere and let you rule the world. So once again, Uncle Chris, thank you so much. I'm going to play you out with a little bit of overdrive.